Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining up for the episode. There's been many changes discovered in GTA 5 over the years, many times telling us what Rockstar is working on in the background. Well, there's been a massive leak, and a big change is coming to GTA Online. We will soon be able to purchase nightclubs. Do you guys want to own your own club, start up a party, and invite the entire Trippy fam over? It sounds pretty good to me. We'll talk about it in this episode. But another change that happened started right here at the Satellite Array. It used to be heavily watched by the FIB, but for some reason Rockstar changed that. Maybe that is telling us that something is going to happen at the new location. I do recommend that you hit the notification button, not only here at Trippy Commentaries, but any of your favorite channels here on YouTube. Because the way that the whole recommendation system works, as long as you hit the notification button, it'll at least keep you guys updated. If you don't watch a channel for like a week or so, sometimes they'll just stop even telling you about it. The notification system will at least let you know what's going on. You gotta be informed, you know what I mean? So thanks again for joining up for the episode. We do have some huge events going on in GTA Online on both the Xbox One and the PS4. So you guys can join up for that. It'll be live. So definitely hook up with us, guys. We got some big things happening as we get closer to the summer. But with all that said, let's get into the episode and look at some massive changes that are coming to GTA Online. One last thing, considering this new GTA Online expansion looks to be featuring nightclubs, I have a feeling you're going to need a ton of money saved up, guys. So get started. You better get some M's in your bank account. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. Yeah, 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 in my bank account. Yeah. You are definitely going to need millions of dollars in your GTA Online bank account. I believe one of the reasons why they are going with a nightclub DLC is because it represents high class. It's going to be very expensive. So this is the original GTA 5. You can tell by the map. And not only can you find scientists here at the satellite array, but they are being accompanied by FIB agents. There's a couple reasons to think that they are here. First of all, you have the UFOs in the skies, and that one that's facing a different direction looks to be facing towards the Zancudo UFO. So maybe they're just trying to find UFOs. Another reason might be the secret facility that is directly underneath their feet right now. We know because of the Doomsday DLC that there's an underground facility you have to break into, and they could all just be working at that facility guys either way rockstar was trying to tell us that something secret is going on at that location here is the mission and it turned out to be an important one as it is the act one finale from the doomsday dlc notice that the one satellite dish that's facing in a different direction than the others is the entrance to the secret iaa base so anyone who visited this spot thinking that there might be a hidden base here were right and we know that fib is written on the ufo so this could be a way for the iaa to keep track of the FIB UFOs. So Rockstar originally put the scientists and agents here to tell us that we would go underground, but it was not in single player, they moved it into GTA Online. So that is why when the new versions of GTA 5 came out, they had to backpedal, they had to take the scientists and FIB agents away from the satellite array and move them somewhere new. So knowing that, that tells us that the new location is most likely going to be involved in GTA Online in the future. So let's check that spot out. Now we have been watching this place recently in GTA Online. It seemed like for a solid week, both the FIB agents and the trucks would not spawn in, getting us to think that maybe they moved the agents once again. We were looking for them, but then they did respawn in both online and in single player. So it's very interesting considering when the game first shipped for of course the Xbox 360 and the PS3, there was nothing here. It was just a lonely shack on the way to the Humane Labs. But now we have the agents and I gotta say, they are some of the most aggressive NPCs in the game, which is saying a lot. You got cops, you got military soldiers, oh shizen. But these guys do not mess around. What are they protecting, guys? There has to be something important in there. And I'm thinking that Rockstar will eventually make it part of the next expansion. But that said, the next expansion is supposed to be nightclubs. So why would it have anything to do with this shack on the way to the Humane Labs? Definitely give me some intel. Let me know what you guys think. But let's take a look at the upcoming expansion. Shout out to Yan2295, a known leaker in the GTA community, and ever since he put out a couple big tweets, many people have been hitting me up on Twitter telling me the information. So this is the first one that I want to show you. He says, all right, so the basics of the next update. Keep in mind that I'm expecting that the next update 
will probably be the last with Red Dead Redemption 2 around the corner. So the fact that it has something to do with nightclubs is surprising to me when I thought that maybe aliens, something like that, would be involved. So he says it's supposed to be fairly big and to be about the consolidation of all the in-game businesses, crates, cars, bikers, bunkers, smugglers, etc. into one. That's mind-blowing. I have no idea how they would do that. It might also be the last update, but we've heard that before, so take it as you want. Though the drip feed of this one is supposed to end near the launch of RDR2, so who knows? You can tell that at this point, he wasn't exactly sure that nightclubs were going to be the featured element, especially if it has anything to do with the smugglers, bunkers, and all that stuff as well. We'll see what comes next. And this is the monster tweet that he put out while I was on vacation. It says, the next GTA Online update is themed around nightclubs. It's going to be possible to buy and run nightclubs around Los Santos. It's currently scheduled to come out in June. The business consolidation thing I leaked a few weeks ago is still happening, though I'm not sure when. So are they going to be based around the same DLC because everyone thinks there's going to be one last huge expansion in GTA Online, hopefully for the summer, but this seems completely different. Nightclubs, what the? Maybe there will be two, maybe you'll have the businesses merging into one mega finale. Speaking of changes to the game, Rockstar also made a very sneaky change in online mode. Many people messaged me telling me, Trippy, you can now break into the Bahama Mama's Club, which has a fully detailed interior. Well, Rockstar put a stop to that. You can no longer glitch into the club. The only way to see the interior is on the PC version. You have to use a mod, which is not available on the PS4 and Xbox One. So if you do have PC GTA 5, definitely check it out. It's pretty cool. Most likely one of the clubs that we'll be able to purchase in the upcoming DLC. Why would Rockstar spend so much time to make a badass nightclub and not even let us go in there? I'm sure that they will add it sometime in Grand Theft Auto Online. And there's plenty of other clubs in GTA 5. We know that Los Angeles is known for its nightlife, so Los Santos should be no different, guys. We're gonna own a nightclub, we're gonna open up the official Club Trippy, and we're gonna try to pack it with 30 people full of the entire Trippy Comms Mafia. Good luck with that, guys. We'll see you at the clubs. For those of you thinking, wow, this is something brand new that Rockstar has invented to add into the formula, not so much. We saw it back in Grand Theft Auto 4. It was a big part of the game's final DLC. Not only that, but it was also in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So many of us have been requesting this for a while. So there's one other club that you saw in GTA 4 that featured comedians. And I think there was also a magician. So maybe not only will we get the dance clubs and we get the dance mini games, which are all right, but maybe we can get some comedians. That would be epic. There's plenty of unused stadiums in Grand Theft Auto 5. They're just sitting there. Nothing ever happens. I think one of the stadiums was used for fame or shame, but it would be much better if we could actually enter fame or shame and win, just like a competition. That's what Grand Theft Auto should be about. Not just racing, but they should really take it to the clubs, maybe even making some new things that we haven't seen in another Grand Theft Auto game before it. But I think if they do have anything new on the table, at this point, they'll probably hold it off for either Red Dead Redemption 2 or the eventual Grand Theft Auto 6. You may not know this, but even this building, which is across the street from the park, is also a nightclub. So who knows where the clubs are going to be hidden throughout Los Santos. This one is called The Vault. Interesting name, right? Thursdays at The Vault, lock up techno for 20 bucks. So I'm sure that is the cover charge. You add that on top of the price of the expensive drinks, it is going to be very expensive to hang out at the club. But luckily in Grand Theft Auto Online, we will have millions of dollars. And I mentioned how, you know, I do not think that aliens will be involved in a nightclub DLC. But if you remember, in Independence Day, there was a nightclub on top of the Mays Bank building. The UFO came down and blew the building up as everybody partied on the top. So maybe there is a chance that nightclubs will have something to do with the UFO invasion. Much love, guys. Definitely stay tuned here at the channel. I have some huge episodes on the way. And as I said earlier, we have some big live streams as well, including online takeovers this weekend on both the PS4 and the Xbox One that you can team up with us for. Just make sure to hit me up on Twitter at TrippyComs. I'll have a link in the description, and I'll also have my gamer tag and my name on the PlayStation. So once again, guys, thanks for joining up for the episode. Stay tuned. Some more big ones on the way. Hit the notification button. You will not miss any of the upcoming videos that I'm working on. Stay tuned here at Trippy Commentaries, my friends. But more importantly, as always, make sure to stay trippy.